The next decision that I'm going to talk about um, is the decision of the Adams Lake Indian Band and Lieutenant Governor and Council, which is a decision that was released earlier here this year from the BC Court of Appeal. It has a long history, and the frustrating thing about this um, decision from the Court of Appeal is that the Court of Appeal really didn't look and recognize that long history. The Adams Lake Band was challenging the creation of the Sun Peaks Mountain Resort Municipality and they were looking to overturn the order in council that created the municipality on the basis that they hadn't been properly consulted. At the lower court level, at the BC Supreme Court level, the judge had agreed with the band. Um, she found that the province hadn't met its obligation to consult and accommodate, ordered that the province conduct further deep consultation, but didn't quash, didn't um, didn't set aside the order in council that had created the municipality because she thought, well, you know, the municipality's been up and running for a few months, it's really going to invite chaos if we quash that, um, and it's a third party, this is really an issue between the First Nation and the province. So the province appealed the decision, they thought that they had adequately consulted, and the band also cross-appealed. Um, and they took the position that the judge had made a mistake because a consultation had been inadequate, the order in council should fall. We need to have real remedies here. It can't just be status quo and business as usual, even if the consultation has been inadequate. And we had the opportunity to act for the union and to intervene on this case and to inter intervene on that point, on the remedies point, that we really need to have rights vindicated. You can't just say that consultation wasn't okay and then keep going. Mm -hmm. And the union argued that the courts have to be guided by principles that are really gonna result in real and effective remedies. Recognize a wrong, but then allowing the status quo to continue doesn't lead to reconciliation and it doesn't vindicate rights. So the Court of Appeal heard this case in January. Um, they released their decision just in the summer, in August, and unfortunately the Court of Appeal overturned the trial judge's decision. And I want to focus on three parts of the decision. First, it didn't, it, I want to talk about the impact and how the court understood the impact to the rights the strength of claim, and then what the court didn't say. So what the tweet up here says is that the Court of Appeal in Adams Lake saw the incorporation of the municipality as a simple issue. They framed this as just, well, we're just replacing one form of government with another. No big deal, no big impact. They didn't understand the broader context here, that first there'd been the entering into um, between the province and what was then Todd Mountain into a master development agreement that was going to see Sun Peaks continue to be developed. And this was kind of one of the later stages of that long process of developing this mountain resort, was the incorporation of the municipality. The Court of Appeal just saw a very narrow slice of this and said, well, it's changing from one form of local government to another. I have a difficult time seeing the impact. And that's really very different from what the lower court did. The lower court recognized that there was a connection between this 1993 agreement about development of the resort and coming all the way here to it now being declared a municipality. But the Court of Appeal hived that off and took a very narrow slice. The Court of Appeal also found that because there was no direct impact from the incorporation, well, the province didn't need to do a strength of claim assessment and that the duty to consult was met. And that's really problematic because it's a bit of a cart before the horse. They're saying, well, there's no impact, so, well, you don't need to do an assessment. Well, you really need to start with understanding the rights, start with understanding the title, do an assessment of that, share it with the nation, engage on that basis, and then see if you can understand where the impacts are arising. You first have to really understand what the rights and title are. <coughs> 